what do you say? You know, broadcasting. What a great career it is. What a, how much fun we've all had throughout the years. You know, thank you, Minuteman Broadcasting, by the way, for pulling this one. Thanks, Jerry and Dave, for introducing me. Um, you know, it means a lot to me to receive this award, especially in front of all of you, because I have such a history with most of you here. I've worked with you throughout the years. I think when we all get into broadcasting, whether it's radio or it's television, we have that one person that inspires us. And for me, it's Bill Parker, obviously. And to have him here in front of me is like, it's just incredible. Bill is such an inspiration for me. I remember going on that show when I was six years old as a Cub Scout. And, uh, we went on there, we met Bill, we were so excited to be there, and he made it so much fun, and I got to introduce a cartoon, I think it was Bat Fink, and it was just so much fun, you know, and uh, I, I felt that passion that he had for what he did, and I wanted that, and, uh, and I, I finally found, figured out what it was. Uh, Mike Miller, I don't know if any of you know Mike Miller, Mike Miller was uh, a DJ on WAL in the 80s, and Mike was instrumental for getting me into radio, he let me kind of cut my teeth in the production studio at night when he worked there. And then helped me get my first job with Frank Penny. And I was telling Frank, thank you for hiring me down at McMaster Street. But when I came up to NBF in the 80s, I met Bill Parker again. I got to work with Bill, Bernard Fianti, and Bob Hockamone, John Leslie, uh, Dave Freeman was there then, and Roger Neal, and Bill Flynn, and just everybody that I had grown up listening to and seeing. And it was, it was so great to be there. And then, of course, uh, Jerry and Dave from the Breakfast Flakes, so we had a lot of fun. Uh, during their time as well, and it just it was just so much fun. I really enjoyed it And then John Davison actually got me uh, my first job in programming and from there I went over to the Clear Channel iHeartMedia for a while now I'm back home again uh, Doing mornings on the whale, which is so cool because it's a five-hour live morning show and uh, Those of you who are in radio right now probably know how rare that is these days and how special it is So I feel very privileged very lucky uh, to be able to do that and being a broadcaster has been my life a dream. So I want to thank all of you, especially the ones that I've had uh, memories with, but all the broadcasters and all the, the television and radio people here tonight for living that dream with me too. Thank you again. Thank you.